Harvey Weinstein pleaded not guilty to a new sexual assault charge on Wednesday. It came five months after the disgraced Hollywood movie mogul's earlier sex crimes conviction in New York was overturned. The 72-year-old, who is recovering from heart surgery, entered a not guilty plea to committing a criminal sexual act in the first degree in a Manhattan state court. Weinstein still faces two criminal counts from an earlier indictment where he also pleaded not guilty. That includes another first-degree criminal sexual act charge and a third-degree rape charge. The new charge, announced by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, accuses Weinstein of sexually assaulting a woman in a downtown hotel between April the 29th and May the 6th of 2006. Bragg said in a statement, quote, Thanks to the survivor who bravely came forward, Harvey Weinstein now stands indicted for an additional alleged violent sexual assault. Her lawyer said she would be fully prepared to speak her truth at trial. It is unclear whether a retrial of Weinstein will include the three charges he now faces. Jurors had found Weinstein guilty of rape and sexual assault in February 2020, less than two and a half years after sexual misconduct accusations made his case the impetus for the Me Too movement. But New York State's Court of Appeals threw out Weinstein's conviction and 23-year sentence in April. It said he did not get a fair trial because the judge allowed testimony from women who Weinstein was not charged with assaulting. Prosecutors are investigating more alleged assaults and now expect to be ready for a retrial by January. Weinstein remains in custody, having been convicted in California for a separate 2013 rape case and sentenced to 16 years in prison. He was once among Hollywood's most powerful people, a co-founder of Miramax, whose hits include Pulp Fiction. His own studio, The Weinstein Company, has collapsed following the accusations of sexual misconduct. Prosecutors characterized him as a serial predator who manipulated women with promises of career progression in Hollywood, coaxed them into hotel rooms or private apartments, and then overpowered and attacked them.